Hey everybody, this is the Wizard Tower by Rexmore. I saw a video he did that was an excellent breakdown of the benefits of running the Wizard Tower as well as how to build it. His video is required reading for this. I lived in this for a couple weeks and we actually were a quad to really push it to its limit and kind of force that space innovation. And after about 60 hours of living in it, I went to a builder and started incorporating all of the improvements that I thought could be made mainly with the front door as well as the amenities that we were really missing. I'm gonna show you how to take the base wizard tower and turn it into a 2.0 to, to get a little bit more out of it. So these are the pieces that we're gonna knock out. One thing that's really important here is that all of the things that we're adding are gonna have multiple use because I wanna keep it as tight as I can but getting the most value out of it. Uh, now right here is where the refinery is gonna go. I'm defaulted to stone in this builder but we're just gonna pretend that um, two of those triangles are twig. You have to put the wall in and the door in first, otherwise you are gonna wish you did. So we're gonna get all that set up. And once it's in, we're not using a double door because a double door can cause you to get trapped in there and that's a huge pain in the ass. So we turn the elephant trunk to the back, lets us put this in nice and clean. Boom, there is our refinery. If you're getting chased down, you just jump in there, close the door, Hey, go smoke a duber and just kind of chill out until the people leave and then you can hop back out and go back on your merry way. One of the things that was driving me nuts was running through the entire base just to depot, you know, a stack of stone and some bear meat. We're going to go ahead and take a drop box and we're going to just pop it in the wall right here. And so if you want to drop a stack of bear meat, you don't have to go through 12 garage doors to get down there. And as soon as you can, we're definitely going to airlock this. We, we want the protection. And not only that, it lets us put a bag down. And when we get our booty cheeks clapped at the entrance, which was a ongoing problem, uh, we can just run out and reclaim our stuff pretty quick. The auto turret, uh, I wanna be friendly with the neighbors. The auto turret does not. So we're gonna set the auto turret back a little bit and we're still gonna use the chain link. Chain link's excellent for it. And we're gonna put a Python in there because the way that the Python maths out, it's just super effective. What we really needed was uh, a little bit more visibility and security so I threw down a shop front and that really tightens up the path to go in and out and really exposes your head only to the auto turret and now we have a drop box people can drop stuff off with and though they can't reach it normally we can throw a box down and they can just hop up and and we can do the deal because as you see in a second this gets a little bit more secure now this ladder hatch is another dual use item because we want to be able to get easy roof access for the solar um, this doesn't use windmills we're going to end up rooting like between four to eight panels together and put it on a large battery and never need never need power from a windmill but the other thing that it does is that it allows us to stick grenades in it same with the one on the inside and deliver them down to the people who who might be trying to raid as well as offering a window to shoot through right there now in the comment section of the Wizard Tower video from Rexmore, somebody brought up that you can use fires as step ups and you can, it, it works incredibly well to just smoothly transition you. But the other thing that's very valuable about this is that if I see somebody burning 10 fire pits, I know they're cooking up charcoal for a raid. But if I see the Wizard Tower lit up, it's like, yeah, why wouldn't it be? So that's a nice little bonus. Uh, and then the last thing that we do is we're going to throw a second shop front in and we're going to we're really going to tighten that up. Now, this is just the Wizard Tower 2.0. I have a couple different variations that I'm working on videos for right now that are going to go into more depth at how you can get even more out of this. And uh, one version of the Wizard Tower that actually generates a ton of a ton of scrap. So if this is useful to you, uh, let me know. Shoot me a like, subscribe if you want to see more content, and most importantly of all, when playing Rust, just remember. It don't matter. None of this matters.